Hello and welcome to Leon's Lockpad. Uh, today we have got a ERA Euro cylinder. It had a tag on it, I had to pull it off so it could fit in the vise. It is a Pin Pickers Challenge Lock. I think that says number one. This was uh, passed around the UKLS forum for uh, people who like to pick it, put the name on the list and the... And, uh, Obviously, it went through the list, and I was next. Um, after me, this will be going to Pickbeard. So, if you're watching, mate, send me a PM and we'll get this sent off to you once it's picked. Or if not, I'll uh, come and find you on UKLS and I'll send you a message. But uh, let's go. Let's get this picked. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> well, while we do this, if you're into Locksport and you want to get involved or you're just curious, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk. If you like what's in my channel and you're studying more, please hit the subscribe button and that bell icon as make two, three videos per week. Uh, from picking locks to challenge locks to tutorials, all types of lock stuff related. Um, also on Discord is the community, uh, lock picking community. And... Uh, and UK Locksport. Um, so let's get this. Uh, hopefully, let's get this picked. Let's get the uh, set up a little better. I'm going to use a homemade tension wrench, which was a uh, window wire printer. A nice springy one on this one. It's very soft, so you can put some uh, quite a bit of tension on it, but it actually is not too much. And it does a gives some nice feedback. And I'm using a Trekmaster 30 small hook. Let's see what we can do. I click off two and three. So click on four. And look, click on five. Click on six, uh, three again. Not what I said then. I'm going to click on one. Let's bring this light in closer. There we go. That was another click. I think it was on two. Oh, and there we go. We're open. Number one did it. Right, let's see what we've got inside this. Give me a second. As you can see, I have just locked it back to up. I'm a moron. <laughs> and we ain't got a key. So, I'll just pause. And I'm going to re-pick it. Here we go. By the magic of uh, camera trickery, we are open again. Right. Let's knock this time. Lock it back up. There we go, let's get this off so we don't. Let's get a pin and tray. And just readjust the camera slightly so we can get it facing down. I think I gotta start getting some uh, another camera so I can do multiple camera angles without faffing. With the camera itself. Right. We're slightly off to the side, that's what we need. We just need a follower. Actually, let's put a shim in here just in case. Because if everything did anything did go wrong, I can't get the plug back out.
All right, we got a shipment. There we go. We're done. Let's have a look what we've got. Serrations, and we've got a standard in two. In three, we've got a standard. In four, we've got serrated keeping. In five, we've got a very long standard. And in six, we've got a serrated. Uh, let's look at this colour. Now we've got threading in one. Four. And six. And it was a six pin. Now let's see what's in the in the Bible. Let's pull this shim out. Don't need that anymore. Actually, it's got a nice heavy duty steel spring as well in one. We got a commercial spool. A long spring in two. Three, we've got another commercial spool and a nice long spring again. We've got another, this is a hole mate. This was a, it looks like a commercial spool and then it's been adapted to have a little two step. On the other side, long spring. Let's go around the other way. The six is serrated. The long spring, steel, and last but least, we got the other spring. There we go. Uh, nothing done to the Bible, and let me just adjust that around, and that. there we go. Right, so a good look at what we've got. Um, we got a uh, double serrated keeping in one. We've got a standard in two. We've got a standard in three. We've got a serrated double on uh, four, a standard in five, and a single serrated on six. Uh, right on the drivers, we've got a, a double serrated, and then at the very end, it, we've got a tiny serration. Just a little one to catch you on the... Uh, on the... Uh, threads then number two we've got a uh, commercial spool in three we've got a commercial spool in four we've had a commercial spool but it's been adapted you can see we've got a little step down there and then we've got one slightly higher so you'll get a double click a standard commercial spool in five and a double serrated driver in six and we've got a short but powerful wound steel spring and the rest are all the same, just standard steel springs. Well, that was uh, actually a very nice pick, mate. Um, even though there's a lot of spools in there, um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a massive fault set, which uh, it's, quite, it's quite cool, really, because then it's a bit misleading. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed picking that, mate. Thank you very much, Pin Pickers, for making that. Um, like I say, uh, pick beard, mate, you're next on the list. Um, we'll get that sent off to you if you want to get in contact with me. Or, like I say, I will find you on the UK Less Forum. Not a problem. But, um, yeah. I enjoyed that. That was a good pick. Some nice feed good feedback. Well, um, I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
Um, please subscribe. Um, bye. Don't forget to like.